Hey, what's going on guys? So I'll be taking a look at this wireless mobile phone monoquad. This is commonly referred to as a selfie pole or a selfie stick. Basically a little pole that you can put your phone on and you can take pictures of yourself without actually holding your phone. Anyway, this is from a company called Happers. And this particular cell phone monopod comes in black, blue, pink, or green. Here, of course, is the black version. And so this is just everything that we get in the box. First and foremost, we have our micro USB charging cable. We have a carrying pouch for the selfie pole. We have a little bit of literature here from Happers. We have the actual monopod itself. We have the part that holds your phone. And finally, we have a little rubber covering that attaches to the part that holds your phone in case you would like to hold your phone a little more securely. So these are the main two parts of this monopod. Of course, we have the actual monopod itself and then the part that holds your phone. What's cool about this is rather than it just being built to hold your phone, it actually has a part that would go into the bottom of a small point and shoot camera or something like that. So if you do not wish to use this with your phone and wish to use it with another device that you'd be able to put on a tripod or something, you can just put it on this selfie pole. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense unless your camera supported Bluetooth, but even if it didn't and you would like to set your camera on a timer or something, then you can use this monopod for that as well. So assuming we're going to use our phone and Bluetooth to take our pictures, we will have to screw this part onto the monopod. This really is not a difficult process and there's even a little screw part at the bottom of the monopod which makes attaching these two pieces very, very easy. So in order to get all of the features of this monopod, you will have to connect it to your phone through Bluetooth. And to do that, on the bottom of the monopod, there's a little switch, and you will simply switch it to on. And then you should see this monopod in your phone's Bluetooth settings as a device, and you will simply connect to it. The very last step in order to be able to use this monopod with your mobile phone is to put your phone in the holder. There is a very nice little holder for it, and it holds your phone very securely. You can put multiple size phones in it just because it is adjustable, and so it will hold your phone very securely even if you have a very large phone or very small phone. Once you've done all this, you can begin taking pictures. Um, there's a little button on the monopod and that's what you use to take pictures once it is connected to Bluetooth. So rather than having to set your phone on a timer or something, you can just push the little button and it will activate the shutter on your phone. You can technically use the rear facing camera if you would like, but kind of the idea is that you can see yourself in the photo. So ideally use the front facing camera, but you can use the back one if that is what you would like. This monopod is very, very adjustable. You can have it very, very short. It goes down to about a foot long, or you can have it really, really long, and I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but it is very, very long, as you can see in the video. You're also able to adjust the angle at which this monopod holds your phone, so if you wish to have your phone higher up or something and you still want it pointing down towards you, then you can simply do that by unscrewing this little piece on the side and then adjusting the angle and then tightening it up again. So thank you guys very much for watching this review of the Happers monopod or selfie pole, whatever you'd like to call it, basically a device that allows you to take pictures of yourself while extending your arm and all of that so your pictures will turn out better. If you guys enjoyed this review, then a like rating is always appreciated. If you'd like to see more videos very similar to this one, then feel free to subscribe. This has been Jordan for Jolt Reviews. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next review.